It's just after one in the morning on the day that Michael Brown would be killed. And this newly released surveillance video shows him inside the Ferguson Market and Liquor Store, a place he'd be accused of robbing 11 hours later. Now, CNN cannot confirm the video's authenticity. It's part of a new documentary called Stranger Fruit, which debuted at the South by Southwest Festival on Saturday. It challenges the police narrative that Brown stole from a convenience store moments before he was shot and killed by Officer Darren Wilson back in August 2014. It argues Brown's altercation with the store employees later that day, shown on this video that was released by the Ferguson police, stemmed from a misunderstanding tied to an earlier apparent drug deal with the clerks, which the filmmaker Jason Pollock suggests is happening in the previously unreleased video. Now, the 18-year-old appears to give the clerks a small bag. Pollock claims it's marijuana. They give Brown a bag with cigarellos, which he takes, but then turns around and gives back to the clerks before leaving. The film suggests that Brown did not return to rob the store later that day, but to get his stuff back. <laughs> Protests and riots erupted across the country after Brown's death. And many protesters upset with the Ferguson Police Department's decision to release a surveillance video of the altercation at the store because they felt it demonized Brown and appeared to justify police use of force. The original Ferguson Police report does not mention Brown's overnight visit or that there is any video beyond what was released. The visit was briefly mentioned in a St. Louis County Police report. CNN contacted St. Louis PD, which said it could not confirm the new video's authenticity, but that regardless, it would have been irrelevant to their investigation into the encounter between Michael Brown and Darren Wilson. Wilson, who resigned from the Ferguson Police Department, claimed he was assaulted by Brown and that he feared for his life. A grand jury and in a federal civil rights investigation declined to indict Wilson. Now, we reached out to the Ferguson Police Department to ask them about the video and why it wasn't released before. We were told to call back tomorrow when the public information officer would be on duty. We also tried to get in touch with the attorney who represents the Ferguson Market. They haven't gotten back to us just yet. However, he did do an interview with the New York Times. In that interview, he disputes the version of events that appear in the documentary.